June 16th is shaping up to have a very interesting J6 sentencing. You see, the government in their documentation compares this J6er to two other J6ers. One, known for being a model for romance novel covers, was sentenced to 36 months in prison, 36 months of supervised release, and a fine of $3,688 and a restitution of $2,000. The government argues that Mason Corson here has a more extensive and recent criminal history, should get a harsher sentence. Another J6er they argue he should get a harsher sentence than was sentenced to 51 months in prison and given a restitution of $32,165.65. The government is asking for Mason Corson to get 87 months in prison, three years of supervised release, $2,000 in restitution, $34,776 fine, and a mandatory $100 special assessment for the count of conviction. Now you might be wondering, okay, sure, that makes sense with the sentencing, them wanting him to have more months if he's worse. But you might be wondering, why did they pick that fine number? Well, that's what I've been telling people all along. They're coming for the give, send, goes, you see here. As of March 9th, Corson has raised $29,453 to the website. He's all, uh, raised $34,776 through the website. One of his accounts describes Corson as a true patriot, indicates that the funds are to be used for financial obligations. Corson should not be able to capitalize on his participation in January 6th riot this way. I'll have this document in the pinned comment if you would like to see it. This is a court document that's on the internet for this sentencing. It's going to be rather interesting tomorrow to see what he gets. Because with the comparison they're making, if the judge agrees, he might actually get one of those really long sentences. I was unaware of this man, but I'm actually more interested in the give, send, go. Are they going to take the give, send, go money? Because they have in other cases, and it seems to be becoming a more common thing.